Hello, I'm Anthony Murphy of Mythical Ireland. This is a short video to accompany an article about the Metonic Cycle on the Mythical Ireland website. That's mythicalireland.com in the astronomy section. This video looks at the discrepancy or disparity between what we might call the lunar year based on the number of full moons in a year and the solar year. Now we all know the solar year is 365 days long. It's a little bit more than that. It's 365.24 days. The lunar synodic month is the time it takes the moon to return to the same phase in the sky. I've picked a date here using the wonderful Stellarium software uh, of the 10th of December in the year 2030 just to show you something very simple about uh, the moon and how it, there is a disparity as it were between the number of lunar months in a solar year and the importance of this is explained in the article in terms of how do we get from there to uh, observing uh, when the solar and lunar years resynchronize, as it were. On the 10th of December 2030, a 100% illuminated f full moon, you can see there the figure 100% illuminated, is in the constellation of Taurus, located between the horns of Taurus above the constellation Orion. Now, if we go forward exactly one solar year to the year 2031, on the same date, the 10th of December, watch what happens. Boom, the moon is gone. Now, the Saturn you'll see uh, has moved quite slowly over the course of a year, and it does. It takes a long time. Its orbit is very far out. Anyway, it's not Saturn we're interested in right now. The moon vanishes after a year, but where is it? Now, if you've read the article or even part of it, you will know that 12 full moons is equal to 250, sorry, 354 days. That is 11 days shy of or short of a solar year. So, if the moon is full on the 10th of December 2030, then it stands to reason that in 2031, on that date, uh, that's 11 days after the moon has been full. So, let's go back 11 days, shall we, and uh, hopefully see the moon uh, at full. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And look at it. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Uh, Procyon is in the way there. Let's move that a little bit. You'll see that the moon is 100% illuminated. Slightly different location in the sky. There's a very good reason for that. That's because the sidereal lunar month, which is the time it takes the moon to return the, to the same background stars, and the synodic month, the time it takes the moon to return to the same phase, i.e. full moon to full moon, differ by 2.2 days. And then there's the rotation of the nodes, an entirely different subject, uh, r related but different, uh, that we will cover in a later article. So we've had to go back 11 days to see a full moon. Or, instead of going back, what we've done is we've counted 12 full moons since uh, the 10th of December 2030. 12 full moons later, in 2031, we're actually at the 29th of November. And this is the disparity as it is uh, uh, viewable by any observer anywhere in the world, uh, 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 providing you're not in a place where the cloud constantly blocks the night sky, um, like Ireland is not the most ideal uh, location for astronomy because of the weather. Uh, but this is the simplest observation of how the lunar year and the solar year do not uh, synchronize or harmonize or coalesce as it were this is the easiest thing that you can do to begin observations of what we call the metonic cycle the 19 year cycle of the moon you can start watching as the full moon passes each month now let's go back to the start date and just uh, quickly have a look for a moment uh, uh, in terms of what happens let's go forward by a month and there's uh, there's the full moon there Let's go forward another month. And this is, when I say a month, this is a, a synodic month. This is a, a approximately 29, a, a little bit over 29, 29 and a half days. Uh, and if you keep going forward, you'll see that the moon cycles through the sky. I think that's four full moons, is it? Yeah. That's five full moons. Six full moons. The moon is low in the winter because it's opposite the sun and the sun is high in the summer in the northern hemisphere. That's seven full moons. 
well, it's going through phases, but I'm zipping by eight moons, nine moons, ten moons, eleven moons, and finally we get to that twelfth full moon. So twelve moons after we started our count happens eleven days shy of the date upon which we observed it last year. That is uh, the, as I say, the easiest way to observe the discrepancy. Count full moons from a, the next time you see the full moon, take a note of the date, uh, uh, the date and the day, the year, uh, the time if you want, and your location, and uh, uh, observe 12 full moons from there. And on the night of the 12th full moon, you will see that you're 11 days shy of the date of last year. And that is the simplest way to begin observations of the discrepancy and to begin your exploration of the metonic cycle.